there was this lovely restaurant, and I had my first pressed duck. And there was a fire, and this duck was rotating around it. And that I wanted to, and then they took it off at a certain point and cut off the legs, which were cooked further, and cut off the breasts, which were then sliced, put on a platter, and then they took the carcass and put it into this duck press, which is a big cylinder with a big turnabout thing, and went quack, 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 as they poured in a bottle of red burgundy, and all this delicious juice came out. And that was the sauce. That was that was a wonderful experience. We had a had my first French oysters, and then we had you know those lovely little French cakes, which cost about two dollars each. They were just delicious. I was hooked. From then on, we started writing our book, which eventually took us about 10 years to write, which was Mastering the Art of French Cooking. There was nobody who had long recipes the way we did. So many recipes would say, just put it in and broil it for 20 minutes. And then if you didn't look at it, it was burned up. So, in other words, this was Recipes telling you exactly how to cook. Just a very good ordinary all-purpose frying pan. It's no stick, but it's perfect for omelets, for sautéing and tossing things like that. I don't know how we got onto the Today Show, but we did. It only took me because they didn't have anyone else on that at that point, and I was a live author, <clears throat> sort of making things more lively. I. I took along a hot plate and a big, I have a big copper bowl, and, and I built up, beat up some egg whites, which is something people haven't seen very much. And a lot of people saw the show, and they wrote into the station and said, why can't we have a cooking show? So that's how the idea of a cooking show came in. We took out this table and had a counter, so there was really plenty of room. We had three cameras in here, and worked out beautifully. When we decided to call it the French Chef because it would fit in one line in the TV guide. There was indeed an audience because at that point people were interested in cooking and that was before there were two family members working so that women had time to cook. So we were just very lucky just hitting it right. We showed a lot about knives and utensils and it was always fun having funny things, like I have a great big knife, which I call a fright knife. It's about that long, about that wide, with jagged edges on it. It does look very dangerous. Cooking is, it's kind of a drama anyway, because you start with nothing, then you end up with something to eat. And I'm, I'm luckily, I'm a, I'm a natural ham, and I think that helps. And I don't get flustered because I was not doing things that I didn't know how to do. Well, I think it's opened up the, the pleasures of cooking and the pleasures of food, I think. I, I don't think in the early days people felt that it was a, was, was a pleasure and that it was fun.